The key to making yourself irresistible to an admissions officer is to carefully brand yourself. Just like branding an item for sale in the marketplace, when you want your product name, your packaging, and your advertising to work together, creating an irresistible brand for a student is done by creating a seamless package. A student's choice of courses, choice of activities, application essays, and recommendations should all point in the same direction. The best way to illustrate what I'm talking about is with two real-life examples of students I interviewed a couple of years ago for Dartmouth. The first student had perfect SATs, was number two salutatorian in his class, and he had a long list of pretty remarkable accomplishments. He had academically tutored a number of students who went from getting C's to A's in math. He played piano in a professional jazz quartet, and he ran varsity track. He had organized the cleanup of 20 miles of local highway. He was an exceptional artist, and Dartmouth rejected this student. The second student had unremarkable SATs, just marginally over the academic index threshold. He was in the top 10% of his class, but not a valedictorian or salutatorian. But this student had a passion for engineering. So he had begun taking engineering classes while only a freshman at a community college over the summer. He regularly attended town board meetings so he could learn the ins and outs of zoning regulations. He and his father had spent two years restoring a 1700 farmhouse for a tidy profit. He worked part-time for a construction company. His father, who had a job as an excavator, had helped this student get involved in the actual planning of a local road. The student brought the road plans he had created to his Dartmouth interview with me. He was a volunteer firefighter because he said he enjoyed trying to save both lives and the houses so much care had gone into building. He had a special dispensation from his local squad commander allowing him to have a simultaneous membership in his local volunteer firefighters association as well as being a member of the firefighters in Hanover, New Hampshire where Dartmouth is located. And the emotional kicker this student wrote his application essay about the fact that his parents had been trying to get a divorce for the last four years, but couldn't afford to separate, and rather than let his difficult home situation bring him down, the student had filled his life with positive activities that kept him out of the house most of the time. Well, this student was accepted to Dartmouth. His brand, the indefatigable engineering student. I've always remembered the student's story, I probably always will, and I'm sure the entire Dartmouth admissions office knew his story. The trick to great branding, however, lies in finding a student's own passions and building the story around the things he or she already enjoys doing. Otherwise, a student wouldn't have the inner fire it takes to do all the things that add up to being a great brand in the eyes of an admissions officer. When I work with a student personally, I work with that student to create a careful action plan full of activities that stem from the student's passion to form a cohesive story that uses a time of a student in the most economical way possible to create the most memorable brand possible. Clearly, and this college admissions officers will tell you, it's not about how many activities you add up to your high school resume. In fact, too many activities can indicate a lack of direction. And that may be the reason why the first student I cited in my example was not accepted to Dartmouth, even with his perfect SATs. Admissions officers are looking for focus. They're looking for passion. And the trick is having a student pursue a series of activities and courses that are both stimulating and satisfying for the student, as well as impressive to an admissions officer.